Now, ladies and gentlemen, here in Video Radio World, this is T. Can't see me, but I'm here. <laughs> T, uh, the host for Queer to the Sea, and I am with the cast for Nobody But Somebody um, that was just performed here at the Painted Bride. And these are all the lovely actors. Do you see them? They're awesome soft, and they did an amazing job. Um, would someone like to just give a brief overview of what the play was about? Um, it was... <laughs> I think that'll be a... Is that Kim? Yes. Yeah. Right, Nepal? Right, Nepal. Um, it was about uh, the civil rights movement um, from the West Point all the way up to um, the Black Panther Party and what we're dealing with today. And what we're dealing with today. So we're just going to have everyone just one by one state their real name, their character, and something that was very influential for their character during that time period. Is that cool? Cool. So we'll start with the lovely, the blonde one here. Bree, I think? Yes? Okay, go ahead. Cool beans. Next. Yes. Oh, okay. My name is Dickens Bacon, and I play nobody number three. And um, I think the Civil Rights Movement, for me, that was the most significant part because I don't know what's going on that time, but I've been in a part of the party. 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 Right. <laughs> Kenya? Yes. Uh, Kimmy Amani Jackson and I play Nobody Number Four. Mm -hmm. And what I enjoyed about the play is showing all the different ways people chose to be involved in the movement, mm -hmm. whether it was bus boycott or just saying no. So, yeah. Cool thing. Young lady in the back. Hi, Mary Clark. I play as narrator. And it's like everything in Florida. But you also read some policemen lines, is that correct? Police officer lines. I think oh. it's you know, the anger of the entire movement, not even black, white, it's the anger of anyone being separate from each other, separate from people. There is one of my characters. Mm -hmm. Frey? Yes. Yay! Okay, I'm getting good at this. I'm Frey. I played um, bus driver slash police officer slash sheriff. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I just found it interesting to, to, for most of the play, my characters, my characters were anti the movement, and I found it interesting to go against the movement, because I, there's something I wouldn't have, like, if I was alive back then, I would have totally been a part of the movement, and to see it from the opposing angle, mm -hmm. it's just, it's unsettling. It's unsettling. All right. In the center. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. and I play the role of boy, mm -hmm. and I think what influenced my character most mm -hmm. was more so the freedom of being able to love who you are. Aww. And just be who you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. The lady love. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bailey Shaw. Um, I play the white woman. And I actually uh, get to experience both sides. Mm -hmm. I get to be a, um, a Southern Belle who is asking, um, asking nobody to, mm -hmm. nobody to, to give up her seat for me. And I need the butter her pullover and everything. So, and then we do our little circle. Mm -hmm. And I'm in Washington, D.C., um, Freedom Rising. So I think, I thought it was the coolest to get to play both um, characters and um, I, I'm really so you did. You played two different white women. Is that correct? Yes, but yeah. Okay. Can you give us a little bit of that Southern Belle accent that you did earlier? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Love it, <that. laughs> gentlemen. My name is Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> um, I played Nobody One, and um, what inspired me was the passing of Reverend Fred um, because my character had sort of a leadership position in the um, in the, in the Freedom Ride. So, um, and Reverend Fred Sullivan was sort of instrumental in that, so I kind of, um, that was inspired. Okay. Last but certainly not least. Hello, my name is Ashley Spearman, and I played Nobody Number Five. 
And the one thing that I would say that inspired me about number five is that uh, I feel like that character represents sort of the everyday person who was not didn't really have the spotlight on them, but still they played the part. And I kind of thought about a lot about people that my, like my grandmother mm -hmm. and my uncle, my grandfather, people from that generation, because they lived through that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much what inspired me for this well, thank you all for taking time to speak with us, our radio listeners, who are now get a chance to watch, which is so awesome. And this play was written by who? Devon Clark. And the name of this play is? Nobody but somebody. And you're being interviewed by? <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Bye.